I wanted to start with the show, uh, with Dance with the Stars, and the experience so far. You guys have been great, and I guess it's not surprising to many. But what was your original take on them, like when you when you were going to do it, and what it was going to be like, and now that you've had a couple, how it's been? Well, I knew that I wasn't a good dancer, so when I was talking to casting, I said I'd love to do the show. I I think. You know, I could feel a void in my life after training for the Olympics for 16 years, and then boom, that event is over. Um, so I said, "This is great and new challenge for me." But I was like, "If you expect me to be good, you're wrong. Don't, don't put that That's expectation on me." That, don't you think? Just well, then, your performance, the way you perform. Yeah, then I got so much hype from the media, um, and so we kind of sat down and we're like, "We need to work hard because I have to live up to that expectation." Week one, so yeah. I think we put in a lot of overtime in our first three weeks of training and really tried to, you know, be on the ball. For that first waltz. Yeah. Is he being modest? Because a lot of people, when they get into an experience like this, something that it's out of their element, they're going to say, "I'm not very good at it." But is, was he already a pretty good? Did you see that he had the potential to be a good dancer right away? Or? Oh, Evan has potential to be good at anything he wants to be. I mean, his mentality is just that way. It's true. All the Olympians have this mentality that if it's not possible now, it'll be possible tomorrow or in an hour. In this case, because we really have like hours before mm -hmm. <laughs> our live show. Um, but yeah, I mean, just just to see his improvement from week one to the live show, what he did in three weeks, and he's not actually exaggerating, we did work very, very hard. Um, that itself, I mean, that shows something. I've worked with a lot of athletes for the show because of my job is in sports. I've dealt with Jason Taylor and Chad. Oh, Sanford, cool. And so all those guys always, you know, these are guys that are used to being sure. the best at what I know you're the yeah. same way. Do you think it's just the expectation? People are like, well, he's an athlete. Of course he can dance. But it really doesn't go mm. hand in hand, right? Mm. Just because um, you're an athlete. There, you know, it's just different. Um, it's very different movement than I've ever, different coordination. ever been used to. It's different coordination for sure, different timing. Working with a partner for me is something I've never done before, but I really enjoy it. I've been training on my own for so long that to be able to hold her hand and be a part of a team not just for the competition, but to, in training every day is really nice. Um, but it is a challenge. I mean, a lot of skaters have had dance training. I'm just not one of them. I've never had any. So, you know, it was like a foreign language to me, learning from the start. But Anna kind of gave me a crash course right off the bat so that I would start to pick it up and then went back and started getting into great detail and sort of fine-tuning everything, which I think was a great approach for me. She's a really good coach and a really good partner, and, you know, we get along famously. And we do actually get along. We get a lot of work it's done. It's kind of important, isn't it? Cause yeah, I, I, very I think, important. You, know, it's like, you see some of them, like, maybe they don't get along, but it's kind of, you can spend that many hours together. you got to kind of like each other, right? Yeah, well, that's the thing that I always find. Um, I was very lucky with all my celebrity partner, and this is my fifth season. I got along with all my partners. They, they were different people, but there was something about them that, you know, was a common ground. She just scares them into getting along with I her. do, I, a little bit, I do. But You're uh, my friend. <laughs> her. No, but uh, it's very important to have the team spirit. And first of all, we, what's good about us is we have obviously the same goal and we have the same, well, similar work, work ethics. Mm -hmm. So that kind of puts everything into perspective for us and we're not going to waste our time on arguing because we only have three hours a day because of this guy's schedule to get the thing done. So no arguing. I mean it. No. <laughs> right. So far so good after a few weeks. That's good. Yeah. You, you mentioned your training all the 16 years of training for the sport that you're in, but what is that training like? compared to this training as far as you, you only have three hour, three hour window. How often would you train for figure skating? What would that be? What would a day be like then and what's a day like now at the training session? Well, for skating, my whole day revolved around training and I would do, you know, two hours off the ice, then four hours on the ice and another hour on the ice and another couple hours off the ice. So basically I was just six days a week. Um, but basically I would just train all the time. And the movement for me was such second nature because I've done it my whole life. Um, it was just really repetition, and it was such physical training. I would be so physically exhausted at the end of the day. And this dancing, um, it's hard physically, but it takes so much concentration to do the steps um, precisely, correctly, um, on the right count. count. I've never counted music before, so having to count it is very different. Um, that I'm exhausted mentally from this process. 
And I, some I, days we're putting in. I know, would like to have seven or eight hours with you. I just don't, don't have it. Well, some of the days we do. I mean, you know, obviously before we started traveling, we were doing our six to eight hours, and on the road we're we're doing. You know, anywhere from three to five, but yeah. um, we are definitely sneaking in, like you know, a little fifteen-minute quick step here and there, just to have a refresher throughout the day. Have you told him what? I mean, and you, I'm sure you know this, but what a grind this will be because if, if this keeps going the way it looks like it might, I mean, people love you. You're doing a great job so far mm-hmm. as a couple. But if you explain to him like what this is going to be grinding for him, isn't it? I mean, this is a long process. You know what? I, I I just find with with everything, and especially with our show, until people are in the situation, they don't fully realize what it takes out of their their brains or out of their bodies. And and the thing for for Evan, like the word no, is just is not in his vocabulary, and he's just he says no, it's not going to be hard for me. I, no, it's not. I, I'll be fine. So. I'm I find to work 20 hour days. Yeah, pretty much. So I tried to explain and Evan actually was um a fan of the show, right? I could say that. Cuz um Christian and Gucci, he's a good friend. Yeah, and was, Apollo. And Apollo was on it. So people don't have before. do you mm-hmm. do you at all, I mean, have a moment to breathe to, from the moment you won the gold medal to now what what your life has been like? I mean, is it has it really been as nonstop as it feels like it's been? So much more. <laughs> so much more. Um, I just went straight from the airport from Vancouver after you know that whole experience. It was so incredible for me. Straight from the airport to training with Anna. Started training. Did you know the entire press tour that came along with post Olympic media and pre Dancing with the Stars media, and especially this season with the crazy ratings that ABC has gone for the show. There's been quite a bit of attention. And then, mm-hmm. you know, we had our first show. That was great. We were training for that. And then we're on the road now, and we're continuing the competition, thankfully. Um, but, you know, touring at the same time, touring the country. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, finally, uh, do you consider yourselves, I mean, I, I think I think I can say it, I'm sure you've heard it, you guys really are one of the, probably the better uh, partners, you know, and, and maybe the favorites. I mean, do you at all think about that, or do you just worry about the next dance, or you know, um, the way things are going? We just really worry about the next dance, and we take it one week at a time. Um, that's our approach. But our advantage is is our similarity in how we train and how we focus, and we get along, and that makes our team stronger. Um, and I, I hope people at home can see that, how much fun we are having, mm-hmm. and how much we have in performing you know, how much fun we have in performing for the audience. So hopefully the people want to see that every week. <laughs> what do we expect the rest of the season? Then? What, do we, what, what should we look forward to in, in, in the future dances and costumes and everything else? You know what? We, we really take each week at a time because we don't get our music till, like, Monday and then for the next Monday. So we have literally a day to figure out what we're going to wear. And it, it kind of depends on the song. Like last week, we had a Avril Lavigne, so we went a little bit with punk. The week before, we had a, a very elegant song, and he was in, in you know, tales and that. So we're gonna take it one week at a time, and hopefully be creative because we kind of set ourselves. We're in trying that. to be unique and do like a little bit different interpretation of each dance that we've had to conquer so far, mm-hmm. and we want all of our dances and our style and our clothing and our music to reflect our personalities mm-hmm. a little bit, just bring a little bit of ourselves to the table. Um, so I think just as far as satisfying our fans and, and satisfying the audience, mm-hmm. that's our number one priority. You, you do know, and I remember talking to Jason about this, that, that when he was done, and he's a big a football player. And he was and, amazing, by the way. Amazing. Jason was Taylor was and, fabulous. But now everywhere he goes, people are think he can dance and like at, just like at any moment you do it from now on like, you're <laughs> just gonna bust out a, a yeah. foxtrot at like, any exactly. moment like in <laughs> the club be like, can you dance with me like I wanna you know that's gonna happen right like it's just gonna be crazy yeah um, is that, that gonna that, happen that's gonna happen <laughs> I'll say I only dance with one Miss Redheaded Russian Anna <laughs> Trebinskaya <laughs> so get her in here and I'll show you a move or two that's right thanks guys I appreciate it what do you think of that I think that's true, actually. Thank you.